Hey guys, this is Luke again, and welcome back to yet another Ninjago of anyone to the channel today. Now, this video will contain a major spoiler, as you can see with the title and the thumbnail. So, if you do not want to be spoiled, click off this video right now. This is your first and only warning, so be sure to heed it. And or if you just don't care about spoilers, or you already know what the twist is, then let's get started. Pretty much, more episode descriptions have been leaked by Foxtel. How many of these episodes are going to be leaked? All of them? Probably. But one of them has a very, very shocking twist in it. And it's probably the main plot twist of the season. And I've discussed, did multiple videos on this. And of course, I'm talking about who is the Skull Sorcerer. I made two videos discussing this. One, discussing about how it could actually be Klaus. And another, how it actually, how Klaus was one of the options. Along with Cole's mom, Lily, or a new character. Well, we kind of have our answer. Kind of. Basically, it is a new character, but not the way I thought it would be. Basically, when I said new character, I thought it would be just a random new character that was never introduced before that. But actually, but actually, it's a character that will probably going to be introduced to at first, and then is later revealed that they are the villain. But who am I referring to? And I could definitely see the inspiration for this twist. And... You know, the Skull Sorcerer, according to description, is King Vangelis. Dun, dun, dun! It's this guy. It's the king. But why is the question. Why is he doing this? We'll probably learn that later on, maybe. But, this is kind of like a rehash of... And it's kind of unoriginal in a sense. I could definitely see the SOG vibes because, in a way, I'm not. I don't want to frown upon this season too early, but it seems like this season is kind of ripping off SOG. I mean, come on, royalty, royalty setting, um, the royalty, a person in royalty or person in power is the villain, and I have the exact same thought process. From SOG to this. What, SOG, I actually thought the quiet one was Mr. E. Because, come on, he doesn't speak. Or at least he doesn't really speak. He only spoke like one line in the entire time that he was... And it, even then it was like backwards. It was the trap has been set or something like that. In reverse. Um, but with But it turned out to be Harumi. And when... And the reason she was called the quiet one was because of the demise of her parents and her refusal to speak upon being told, where are your parents? It was this, It's the same exact process for me. I thought it was someone else entirely. In this case, Klaus. I mean, come on, the evidence kind of works. I mean, it, in Dark Island Trilogy and Way of the Departed, kind of support this. Now, there was... The saying of, oh, Way of the Departed's not canon, which it, it's not, but Dark Island Trilogy is. And yes, there is the argument of, oh, m many fans have read the Dark Island Trilogy. That is true, but they could just make an entire episode dedicated to the Dark Island Trilogy to do that. But it actually turns out to be, to be Vangelis, and I was shocked that it was Vangelis. I thought it was going to be... Klaus at first because the evidence lined up almost in his favor and then it turns out to be someone else entirely this is why I love the bait and switch technique when it comes to storyline because it makes you think it's someone and there's evidence to say that this person is there but then nope it's actually someone else entirely but it can be used wrong used wrongly but I'm glad that it's actually not Sometime, some part of me is glad that it's not Klaus, because it would have been a kind of a weird way to reintroduce him into the series. But a part of me is like, 
man, that was a missed opportunity because Klaus, because as I said, it, as I'm going to make in another video, um, it's time for old villains to come back, but that's going to be it for another video. But anyway, what do you guys think about King Vangelis being the Skull Sorcerer? Let me know in the comments down below. So you might be wondering, what is this doing at the end of the video? Well, if you looked at the title and said, plus a special message, then here is this special message. At the time of this video's upload, I have reached 200 subscribers. And I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much. Um, I am proud of each and every one of you who have subscribed, and we're going to keep going on further. Um, we're, hopefully we can get to 300, and maybe even further, by the end of this year. By the end of 2020, we can hope to get to 300 subscribers. Um, it's such a... It's hard to process that 200. I know not everyone is, it's not 200 individual people, but I have to imagine that if it is, obviously. But it feels surreal, really, that it's 200. That's big. That ain't no small feat. And the fact that I achieved this in just under my one year anniversary of uploading videos to this channel, which will be July 15th, is, a, is amazing. Because who knows what we could do from the top, from next year. Who knows where we'll be at next year. We might be at 500 for all, we, for all I know. We might be even at 1,000. But that's for 2021 to say, not me. But I hope you guys... I love you guys so much for giving me to 200 subscribers, and hopefully we'll keep push beyond to 300, and even further beyond. Hopefully we, but first let's get to 250. We're let's get to that quarter of a way to 1,000. All right, love you guys.